Jazzwares is a well-known company that makes plushes and they made many sets for the game Plants vs. Zombies and today we're going to be looking at the third set they ever made for the game. So with that said, welcome to a look at the Jazzwares Plants vs. Zombies set 3 plush set. Now let's start off with the first plush in this set which is Bonk Choi. Now, out of any other Bong Choi plush made by any other company, this one by far has to be the most accurate just in front of World Max. They did a really good job making all the details and overall the colors do look pretty nice except they're a little inaccurate because well, the body is supposed to be a limer green than the rest of the plush, but overall it still looks pretty good. The arms on this plush are bendy because they have metal rods in them, but these could get damaged really easily because well, the metal rods could get broken, especially because these plushes are getting older and older. So if you do get this plush in mint condition, I wouldn't recommend really messing with the arms because, well, you could end up breaking them easily. Chazwares did a good job making the face and embroidering it on well because it looks really accurate. And also, the stuff on his head looks really nice and overall, I did a really good job making details as well. The top of his head looks like it's like folding over it, which overall is a really nice detail. Overall, besides the fact that like, his body is the wrong color, it's actually a really good plush and well, by far the best Bong Choi plush ever made. If you want this plush, it's really easy to find on eBay and Macari and well, it could only cost a little bit of money. There is also a prototype of this plush, which is this. It basically is the exact same as the normal variant, except there's a few differences with like the head and the arms. As you can see, the embroidery is slightly different because well, but smaller. Also, the body color is like a lighter green instead of a darker green on the official release. Also, the arms are a little less detailed on the prototype version, but besides that, the plush is basically the exact same as the normally released version. Now let's move on to the next plush in the set, which is the Chomper. Now, unlike Lynx and Chomper plush, this one's actually more accurate because, well, but doesn't have eyes on it. The head on this plush is actually really detailed and even has, like, little iron-on circles on it to make it look more detailed. And also, the spikes on the top of the head are made out of felt, so they could get bent and damaged. Same thing with the teeth because, well, they're only made out of felt and could get damaged. But besides that, the rest of the plush is actually really good and also has a bendy neck. But same thing with the bong choy, the metal rod in the neck could get damaged and well could like end up destroying this plush because well the whole plush is held up by this metal rod so if it gets destroyed the whole plush is ruined. So if you do get this plush do not move the head on it because well you could end up ruining like the whole plush if it gets damaged slightly. There's also felt leaves on the bottom of the head which could also get damaged because they're only made out of felt. And for some reason on this plush the leaf base is really small which makes it hard for this plush to stand up. I think it would have been better if they made a leaf base like a little bigger. But besides that, they did a great job making this plush, and overall looks really nice. And this plush is probably the most common in the whole set because, well, I see it on eBay and Macari a lot, so you could probably get it there easily. There's also this one picture of a prototype which looks slightly different because the outline of the mouth is a darker green color, there's also less teeth in the mouth. Also, the head seems to be made out of, like, a lighter purple material, but I can't really tell because the picture quality is really bad, and this is the only image we have of it, and also you can barely even see, like, the rest of the plush besides the head. The spikes on the top of the prototype set also look slightly different than the official release. Now let's move on to the next plush in set, which is the Snapdragon. Now this plush is the exact same neck as the Chomper, and once again, the metal rod could get bent and damaged, so be careful with this plush if you get it, because well, it could get damaged easily. And the leaf base has the same problem on like the Chomper being way too small, I think it would have been a lot better if they made it bigger. The head on this plush is actually really good except for like the teeth and the fur on the sides of the head because they're made out felt but besides that all the embroidered on details look great. And I like how they stitched on some stuff and also added extra plush material to make the plush look more detailed and look like it has more depth. Which overall I think Jazzwares did a great job of and this by far has to be one of the most detailed plushes in this whole set. The only thing you really need to be careful about this plush is the neck and also the felt pieces on the face, but besides that, this plush is overall really good, and you, and you can find this plush on eBay and Macari for, like, a little bit of money. It's not really that expensive, it only costs, like, $30 in good condition. Just like the other plants, since it has a prototype of it, this has a few differences to it. First off, the leaf base is a red color instead of, like, an orangish color, like on the official release. Also, the horn on the front of the Snapdragon's nose is like an uh, orange color instead of being like a green color on the official release, but besides that, there really isn't any differences to it besides like a little bit of like colors being slightly different. But this is one of the only plushes in this set which I would say that the prototype actually looks a little better than the official release because, well, the leaf base overall looks nicer and I like the horn being like an orange color instead of like a green color. But even though the prototype is still better than the official release, overall the official release is still pretty good. 
Now let's go on to the first and only zombie that was officially released in the set being the Disco Zombie. Now this plush is really well known because well a lot of people hate this plush because well overall people just think it looks weird and it's just like an accurate looking. And well I do guys say this is probably the worst Disco Zombie ever released by any company. Overall, the hair on this plush is probably the worst thing about it because well, it's made out of like a weird material and also could get damaged really easily because it collects debris and dust unlike others. The glasses are also made out of felt so they could get easily bent and damaged and you'll see tons of them just missing the glasses because well, they've come like unattached from the plush. The eyes are also made out of plastic and can get chipped and damaged easily because well, you'll see a lot in a lot of these plushes they're missing like the pupils and the eyes because they've been like cracked. Overall the rest of the body's okay for some reason his hands are really big compared to his arms which are just overall weird because well that's not how it's supposed to look but besides that the plush is pretty good. He has this weird necklace which is like has like a little like cotton ball on like the end of it and also like the rest of it is made out of this weird like yarnish material. The shirt is a light blue color and really doesn't have much else to say about it and the pants are white which overall look pretty nice but they could get easily damaged because well it's a white color and they could get like stained. But the most accurate part about this plush is probably the shoes because well no other disco zombie uses the shoes and overall I think the shoes actually look pretty good on this plush. Overall, a lot of people don't like this plush to be as well, but it's probably the worst disco zombie plush made by any company, but still, even though it has some details on the face that look ugly, it's still overall a pretty okay plush. But now let's move on to two other plushes in the set, which were never actually officially released, and we only have some very few pictures of because, well, they're only prototypes. Let's start off with a swashbuckler zombie, which we only have this one image of, and we don't even have, like, a body picture of it, so all we have to go off of is the face. And overall, I do think that the swashbuckler zombie actually looks pretty good on the face because well, the eyes are actually made out of fell instead of a plastic material, which isn't the best material to be made out of eyes, but still overall it looks pretty good. He also has a nicely embroidered on scar, which is like a really nice detail to add to this plus. Also, all the teeth are like glued onto the mouth by the looks of it and are made out of felt. He also has a beard, which seems to be made out of felt, but I can't really tell because the image quality is really not that good, so I can't really tell. The hat seems to be made out of some sort of like fake leatherish material. I can't really tell though because well we only have one image of this plush so there's not really much to go off of. And as you can see in like the right corner you could kind of see part of his arm which looks like okay I guess with the clothes. You can't really see much of it though so I don't really have anything to really go off of. Overall this plush might have been good but we can't really see the full body of it so we can't really tell if it would be a good or bad plush. There's also one other prototype plush being the mummy zombie prototype which we actually have a full picture of so we can actually like talk about it more. The face has nicely embroidered on details and the eyes seem to be made out of like an either a felt or plastic material because well I can't really tell because we only have one picture of this plush so it's kind of hard to tell. The teeth have the problem being made out of felt because well they could get bent and damaged as you can see in this picture here the bottom teeth are like bending down which isn't good. But overall, basically every other detail on this list is really good. I think they did a great job of it because well, the clothes overall look really nice. And as you can see by this one image that we have, the clothes seem to be really detailed and overall look really accurate to how the game looks and it would probably be the best Mummy Zombie plush if it was officially released. The tie on this plush also seems to be made out of felt, but I can't really tell though because we only have one image of it, but the tie still looks really good even if it is made out of felt. Overall, it's a shame that this plush wasn't officially released because, well, it would have looked like it would have been a great plush. But yeah, which plush did you say is your favorite? Mine's probably Snapdragon, but comment down below yours, and yeah, have a great day.